Uh, I was afraid of dogs when I was little. I was bitten by a dog when I was really little. So I was, I was terrified. And even like walking down the street as an adult, even when you see those little like the chihuahuas like getting pushed in a wagon, I would still run across to the other side of the street because I didn't want it to bite me or worse, like lick me, like accost me with a tongue on my body where I didn't want it, right? So I'm like, okay. So it was actually my boyfriend who wanted a dog. Um, and I felt like that was asking a lot of me, you know? Like this goes against kind of my being, but I loved him. And I agreed to go once a month for a year to a dog rescue event to pet the dogs, to get used to having a dog around and seeing how it would feel. So by the end of the year, I was so proud of myself because I was able to please the man in my life, Scruffy. Uh, the boyfriend didn't last, but, uh, <laughs> but Scruffy stole my heart. Now, it is a lot of work rescuing a dog. He was only three months old, and like, it's a lot. Like, the first night I had him, he pooped under my bed, and I didn't even realize it till that morning, till I'm like, oh, something stinks in here, you know? So it's just like a lot of getting used to to do. And then I started dating. Now, I'm a firm believer that a dog is an animal, and animals do not sleep in bed with humans. That lasted three weeks. <laughs> But I'm like, I have to figure this out because for the first guy I invite back to my apartment, you know, after the breakup, like, I don't foresee him loving having, like, I hear men are all about the threesome or whatever, but, <laughs> but I, didn't, I didn't think, like, having a furry little yellow man in bed would be exactly someone's cup of tea. So I'm like, I, I got to figure this out. And then I meet Ken, and I liked Ken. And I thought, all right, maybe he's that guy, that first guy I'm going to bring to my apartment. You know, he had picked me up once before for a date and I knew he wasn't overly keen on animals or dogs because he uh, he said a few times um, he, he mentioned the uh, blonde fur he found on his custom tailored suit <laughs> like and neither of us had blonde hair at the time. So so I was really nervous, you know, so we go out to dinner and he comes back to my apartment and we get to the point at which you would go to the bedroom. And so I act like it's totally normal. I, throw, I, I, I politely uh, dismiss Scruffy from the bedroom and I give him all the things. Like I give him the peanut butter and the, um, the begging strips and the pepperoni, like all the things. And I'm trying to calculate, all right, have I given him enough to last the amount of time that I think <laughs> we need? No, I had never been with Ken before, right? So, anyway, so, so the clothes start coming off, and um, outside the bedroom door, I hear, <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'll turn on the music. Maybe he won't notice, right? So we keep doing our thing, and then it gets louder. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I turn on the fan. I'm like, maybe he won't notice. He won't care. And finally, Ken looks at me, and he goes, just bring him in. I'm like, fine. So I bring him in, and he jumps on the bed, and I'm like, oh my God. But he, he's fine, actually. He's like laying at the end of the bed, you know, the foot of the bed. I'm like, all right, this is actually okay. I mean, <laughs> some people like an audience, right? So, so anyway, we're, you know, all the clothes are now off and we're about to get to, down to business. And all of a sudden, in the time it takes for me to blink, Ken goes from, uh, I'll just say from boner to goner. Um, and I'm like, what uh, so he looks at me and he has these big uh, like his eyes are the size of golf balls and i'm like what could i have po what did i do and he leans in really close and he goes he licked my ass <laughs> and i'm like what he goes Sc scruffy he licked my ass I'm like I don't know what to, so I look at Scruffy and he's just like sitting there nonchalantly. Like it was as if he had planned the whole thing, like he had done this before, he was so stealthy, right? And I look at Ken, I'm like, where do you go from here, right? Well, it turns out you don't move on from there, right? We just quit. Uh, we sat on the couch and watched TV that night. So I, I am glad that, you know, the whole thing kind of worked out, okay? I did get over my fear of dogs. I try to only date men now who don't mind a little uh, yellow fur on their custom tailored suit. Um, but I did go online the next day and I bought Scruffy a custom dog tag that says, my name is Scruffy, we'll lick you and love it. 
No one really needs to know what that actually means. <laughs> Thank you.